All right, we're going to say Shalom to everyone. Thank you most high for the Sabbath. We're still in the Sabbath. Uh, a few more hours, well, not even an hour, maybe 30 more minutes <clears throat> over here in the East Coast. Um, I woke up this morning with my spirit vexed. Um, not to the point where from some from some person, but sometimes when we are allowed to see certain things that's going to happen in the last days, which as John saw on the island of Patmos when he was exiled to that island when he wrote Revelations, even when Daniel saw certain things in the future when he wrote his books of Daniel. Um, it can vex you. It can vex your spirit. Um, understanding that you can't do anything about it. Um, in this particular dream that I had, and I know some people balk on, uh, you know, speaking about dreams, but I'm going to show you and rest assured that this dream links to scripture. Okay. Um, I am not a prophet. <laughs> Let me just make that clear. I don't believe that I am just some type of person that can foretell the future. Uh, no, what happens is when uh, we read scripture, sometimes you will be revealed on how things are going to go down when you read the scripture. So let me just make that clear. Prophecy, the best prophecy, if you want to know what's going to happen in the last days, you read the books of the prophets, the Tanakh. If you want to go and understand what's going on, if you, you need to go to the Old Testament, to the Tanakh, or which is the prophets, and read their records. What will happen is sometimes the Most High will send you a dream based on what you read to give you like a warning sign to show you that it's very close and you can't take it lightly okay um, and what I'm what I mean is it's almost like you have a manual to a, to a car and when you have that manual it states what you what happens if this light comes on what you have to do what happens when this light comes on the check engine light your oil light come on certain buzz ping you know certain things will go off in the car to let you know that it's about to fail if you don't get it corrected okay um so what the most high does remember we're in the image of him so we're going to do certain things as we create based on the limited knowledge that we have, what we create is going to be a, 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 in the similitude, you would say, of the way he created us. So the closer you get to the scriptures, to the end, based on the scriptures that you're reading, you're going to have certain warning lights come on. Uh, within a vision, a dream. Uh, and that's what Daniel saw. That's what a lot of the prophets saw. They would just write down what the Most High showed them in visions and dreams. So some people balk on, <coughs> excuse me, some people balk on dreams and visions because what people do, they become pro prognosticators and warlocks and witches trying to get people to exalt them as some type of important person like an icon and we're not to do that you refer to scriptures and I'm going to show you how this is not some fairy tale all right now based on the dream that I had it was very disturbing very disturbing because I couldn't I couldn't do nothing about it usually if I'm in a dream and something is trying to attack I can fly up in the air or fly to the, like hey but you got a problem with what and then, you know, I'll wake up and I'm at peace. But not this time. All right. Let me just read the scripture. I'm, I just want to confirm it first because I don't want to go off and people think I'm making this stuff up. So let's just go to Mark chapter 13, verse 24. I'm going to start at the 24th verse. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at the 23rd verse. All right. It, it go, the whole chapter is it, it links to 
to Matthew 24. Um, but I want to read Mark 13, verse 23. I'm going to start there. But you can read it, the whole chapter on your own. It's very, it's, it's very deep. It says, But take ye heed, be, behold, I have foretold you all things. And you see Christ is foretelling us all things. Now our foreparents back then, the disciples knew that there were going to be things that's going to be, that's going to happen to the earth based on what Christ told them. Okay. Verse 24. But in those days, after the tribulation, the sun shall be darkened and the moon shall not give her light. Now, let me just make this clear. This tribulation period is started. It started when Christ was crucified when he died and rose again. That's when tribulation period started. It wasn't no, it's no such thing as a seven year tri tribulation. Okay. There's a lot of false doctrines in Christianity. And a lot of us need to learn how to study away from that because you have to be reborn and renewed mentally too. We, a lot of us have been brainwashed. All right. There's no such thing as a trip seven year tribulation. You'll never see that scripture nowhere. So let the book talk. Don't let some man philosophically throw you off. All right. But in those days after the tribulation, so after the pain and suffering of Jacob and all the other Christ, the true Christians go through. I'm talking about true Christians that follow the disciples. OK. There's going to be time where all that is going to cease, but something's going to happen. And that's what it's telling you. After the tribulation, the sun shall be darkened. Right. And the moon shall not give her light and the stars of heaven shall fall. Now, this is what I seen in my dream a few hours ago. Very disturbing. Very disturbing. OK. And the stars of heaven shall fall and the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken. That are in heaven shall be shaken. That is the most scariest scene you could ever think of seeing in a vision or a dream. It's not a game. Okay? And then shall they see the Son of Man coming in the clouds with great power and glory. So you're not going to see the Son of Man until certain things happen. So we're supposed to understand the signs. Okay? You look at a warning light in the car. Oh, check engine light. You're going to refer back to the manual. Okay, it could be this. It could be that. It could be this. It could be that. You get. Now it's time to take it to the shop to get fixed. So now, Christ, after the earth is starting to give warning signs, and that, but to his people and those of us that's connected, he's going to start, everything we're reading, he's going to start bringing it to light as a warning sign to your golden bowl, your brain. And then you're going to know, okay, well, He's the only one that's going to be able to fix it. He, Christ is the only one that's going to be able to fix what's going to happen to the earth. Because in my dream, as the stars were falling, because that's what I saw. That's what I saw. It was like rocks coming. I mean, first you would see, I look up and all I saw, it was clear. And it was dark outside, but it wasn't to the point where it was dark. The whole time I'm walking around then it got dark it was just then it got dark black and you saw stars but they they had a trail and as they fell I seen one hit like I was able to telecon tele whatever you call it I was able to jump time to see what it was doing to hit in the in the place it when it hit it went through a train it, it these rocks and when they came down they, they, they are in rock form but these are not always just some meteors okay when these stars fall is actually talking about the falling angels they in the, the that's the stars of heaven when they fall to this earth man is as my father used to say mess May he rest in peace. Good night, Irene. It's a rap here. I seen this in the dream, okay? I want to make this clear. This is probably pretty close. We're very close to the end. Not just because I dreamt it, but it's just the way the dream went. The way it went. 
the way it felt so real. And I was vexed when I woke up because I knew it linked to scripture. So I'm seeing this and it was like thousands of them. It wasn't just like one meteor. That's what the world calls it. One meteor here, one meteor there. Nah, it was like all of them. And you would, I went inside of a place. It almost looked like where I worked. And I was trying to get people out. And then I heard a, like an airplane got hit by one of them while it was falling. Because it hit the airplane and then it was crashing down on people's houses. And people were getting mutilated, just disintegrated by these things. So it's, it's something that's going to happen. All right. So it says, and the stars of heaven shall fall and the powers that are in heaven shall be shaken. And then shall they see the son of man coming in the clouds with a great power and glory. And then shall he send his angels and shall gather together the elect. Gather together his elect from the four winds this is showing you that the elect are the are the children of Israel that has been scattered throughout the four corners he's going to gather his elect from the four winds the uttermost parts of the earth to the uttermost parts of heaven the reason why is because this whole world is based on these people so you have to gather his people first. People say, well, let's talk about the four corners because everybody's going to hear the gospel throughout the four, or four corners of the world. You have to read through scriptures to understand exactly who's he, who his elect is. Okay? Now, I'm not going to turn it into that type of video, but I just wanted to go into, and I may post the scripture up top so you can understand who's, who his elect is. And that never changed. So what I want to do is just tell people, I was just, just like a warning, FYI, you, you've been forewarned. I don't know what's going to happen in the, in, like tomorrow or whatever, but all I know is they're not chemtrailing for no reason. They're trying to dull your thinking, your brain capacity. But it's, it's not going to happen to everybody because some of us will improvise. Okay. Some of us will improvise. You can't keep the light from everybody. Because see, when you don't get sunlight, things of that nature, you, it dulls the antenna or the frequency to, the, to be connected to the most high. People say, oh, it ain't got nothing to do with the sun. But it's S-U-N. <laughs> and S-O-N is for the spirit. They work hand in hand. The body is the temple. Your body is the temple, right? You're supposed to keep it clean, keep it away from impurities. So if your body is jacked up and they're trying to make you a jack, jacked up person, spraying. And I was going to get into an actual video. I may, do I want to, I may make another video in regards to, I have one video in regards to how I actually got sick. Um, but I didn't know exactly how I was going to do it. And I did some research on how they can actually spray influenza in the skies as chemtrails. They spray it in the air because I was very angry on how I was like, well, how in the world did I get this? And it almost killed a, a sister at the job. They whatever they were spraying uh, around December. And early January, whatever they were spraying really took down a lot of people health wise. I'm talking about they were really, really sick. You're talking about 103 temperature, 104. The sister that I was talking to at the job, she almost died. And she's not that old. OK, her temperature was 110. Son. Come on, man. And she was wondering, like, they just told her, oh, she just got a bug. And she's looking around like, what are you talking about? I just got a bug. This ain't no bug. So they were really, really sp 
spraying heavily. And they're doing this to keep people preoccupied with other stuff. So you don't understand. Like you can't function. Your body is so in out of sync to try to heal itself. You can't have a vision. It's almost almost impossible. So of course you can eat right. You know what? I'll make a video on that because a lot of us are starting to get caught up in, you know, herbs and vitamins and vegetables and things. That is great. I'm not downing that at all. Okay? I am not downing that, but they are attacking that as well. Okay? And I'm going to show you. I'm going to make another video. But I wanted to, you know, actually make this particular video in regards to, the, to that dream that I had. And what I wanted to do too, what was in my mind, I wanted to thank the subscribers and, um, uh, you know, those who reshare my videos. I really appreciate that. Uh, there's not too many people that would make an actual video in regards to people, you know, you know, uh, appreciating those who take out time to reshare your video. Um, you know, and that's a blessing and I, hopefully the most high, and I'm sure he is, is going to bless you all that, that do that. Uh, you know, even some that subscribe and unsubscribe, that's, that's cool because they probably run into other videos that probably they believe that's dealing with sun worship and all that, but it's not. Um, the pineal gland is in, this, is in your body, it's in your, it's in your mind, okay? And some of us can just break down certain scriptures on different levels, not to be, I'm not better than anyone because, you know, well, that's basically what I want to really get into. I wanted to get into that topic and that dream that I had. I know other brothers and sisters are having dreams. Look in scripture to make sure it's scripture. If it's not, then it's a Satan. But if you can, if you see stars falling, even it may not interpret totally on what the scripture is saying. But if your mind can process it as you actually literally seeing stars dropping down like snowflakes and you don't know if it's going to hit you or not. And the thing is, what I wanted to say before, because I tried to stop it, because I didn't know, I was like, what is going on? I kind of knew, but you know, when you're in a trance or whatever, so I jumped up and flew because I'm able to fly in my dream. So I jumped up and flew. And as I'm flying up, even though I'm not getting hit by any of them at the time, I just knew it wasn't nothing I can do. So in the dream, I'm tearing up and like, and I'm looking as I'm up in the air. I'm just seeing this just destruction, just bow, 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 bow. I'm like, man, there ain't nothing I can do about this nothing so something pulled me back down to the ground like I was trying to stay up in the air just, and I just woke up so there's nothing we can do <laughs> when even Christ himself said even himself he don't know when he's coming back here that's it's up to the father so that's going to be straight destruction from the father then he's going to send his son that's when Christ know when he's on his way back Christ himself don't even know Okay, so there you have it. You know, um, I'll be making more videos. I want to get into that other video I was even that that I was I kind of stabbed into this other that other topic. Um, you know, in regards to the you know the chemtrails and how they are actually can spray uh, vaccinations, influenza, okay, in the air, um, and how. A lot of us are getting caught up in a lot of herbs and vitamins. I'm, when I say caught up in it, it's the, to the point where you're almost, uh, what you would say, um, praising your diet, or idolizing your, your your diet more than the most high. And you can't do that. I'm, I'm, I'll go into it in a few minutes. Shalom.